Hey guys, what's up? It's Sunday and it's like 6.30 and I'm starting this vlog super late, super late in the day, super late in the weekend, but I just got home from grocery shopping at Trader Joe's and I wanted to show you what I got. Um, I mentioned in my ultra chit chatty get ready with me video that just got uploaded that I wanted to eat better, do this whole healthy lifestyle thing. So I went to Trader Joe's, I got a bunch of stuff to make for lunch throughout the week and healthier options for home dinners and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I don't know where I'm gonna put you, hold on. Okay, that'll have to do. Sorry, I am wearing Johnny's boxer, so don't pay attention to that, okay? Shh, all right. Okay. Oh God, you can probably see my bra through the shirt. Anyway. Okay, so the first thing I got was some bananas. I actually don't eat bananas. The only people who do are Jada and Carter, my kids. And then Jada picked these out. It's just um, brown sugar shredded wheat. She loves these. I got a bag of shredded cabbage because I thought that would be good to add into salad just to make it a little bit more crunchy. So I got that. And then, ooh, yeah. So I got this mango jicama slaw type of salad. And I was like, oh, I think I'm going to add like a few things to it and take this one day for lunch at work because it looked really, really good. And I know jicama is crunchy. And I'm a texture person when it comes to salad. Like I need something crunchy in there because I can't have it all be the same texture. It's just weird. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. That looked really good. Uh, I just got black pepper because I'm all out. And then I got this everyday seasoning. I got gummies for the kids because they like taking gummy before bed and I haven't had gummies in a really long time. And then I got some 100% cranberry juice because I love cranberry juice. And I also got this, uh, whoa, hello. This pomegranate green tea, which sounded really good to me. So that's it for the first bag. Move, Bo. Uh, salad blend what is this called the Sorrento blend so it has baby arugula spinach and lettuces okay um, so yeah I'm gonna mix that in with the green cabbage I got some tomatoes head of broccoli yeah so I got some green beans so these really interested me they are very cherry plum so they're half cherry half plum and they look so good they're big and I was like mm! And of course, Jada wanted a bunch of strawberries. So I got a big thing of strawberries this time because normally I get the smaller one. I think it's usually like about this size and my kids go through that really, really quickly. And there's a salad that I made, I think two weeks ago that had strawberries and blueberries in it and it was so good. So some of these strawberries are for me and then most of them are gonna be for the kitties. Bag of potatoes and a purple onion. I actually went to Trader Joe's with my friend and she told me about the peeled garlic. So I got one of these. There's like four little pouches in here with just peeled garlic cloves. And it was only like $1.79 or something like that. And like, like I said, there's four little bags in here. So I think there's like 40 in, uh, what do I, so there's 40 garlic cloves in here total. And it's, I can smell it. It's really strong. Oh yeah. So I saw this. It's riced broccoli. And I was like, hmm, that would be really good in a salad. Cause again, I'm thinking of like crunchiness. So I saw that and I was really intrigued because I do like riced cauliflower. So I'm excited to try this. Eggs. Um, these next two things I got last time, I just got chicken enchiladas and a thing of cheese enchiladas. And these are for Johnny to take to work because he likes that kind of thing and it's easy. And we don't have to pre-make it. So you can just grab it out of the freezer, take it to work and he's good for lunch some Belgian waffles. Jada wanted these. Um, I can't remember how much these were, but they were a little bit expensive. And then I saw in the pack on the package that there's only four waffles in here. So this was actually kind of a waste of money, but whatever. I got more of those silver dollar pancakes because she really likes to make these herself. And that is awesome for me because when she wakes up super early and wants something for breakfast, she can just pop some of these in the microwave and she knows how. So yeah, I got more of these. Um, more of that vegetable fried rice, which is really good. I think I'm actually going to have this tonight, so I'm going to leave this out. And then I got some edamame because the kids really, really like these. So I think we first tried these about a year ago, and I was kind of nervous to see if my kids were going to eat them or not. But 
I have to buy them in the pods because they like taking them out with their fingers. So yeah, if your kids don't eat green things, try this because it is kind of fun eating with your fingers. And I got these little cheese pizzas so they can have for lunch during the week. And then I saw these Simply Seasoned Tuna Burgers and I thought these would be good to take to work. There's four in here. And I also got some whole wheat hamburger buns to put them on. And I think I'm gonna cut up that red onion and put that with the burger as well. So I'm interested, I've never had like tuna burgers. I don't think I've ever had a burger that was fish. I've had veggie burgers. I've tried that like Bella burger with the mushroom. That's disgusting because I don't like uh, mushrooms, but I've never tried like a salmon patty or anything like that. So I'm kind of interested to see if these taste good. All right, that is all the food that I got. I did get more flowers. So I'm gonna show you guys when I put them in the vase. And now I'm just gonna put all this stuff away and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the same vase that I had from last time when I got flowers. And I just decided to go with a little bit more green than, you know, like florally stuff like what I got last time. Um, so I got this also, which has like a little bit of like light green and yellow. And then this really pretty like dark purple because I thought that would look nice together. They're pretty tall. So I don't know, <laughs> like it looks kind of awkward in the vase that I have, but I kind of like it. So I'm just gonna try to arrange these the best that I can. I'm not a pro or anything, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna arrange them how I think they look best. Okay, so I'm gonna trim just like an inch off the bottom of this one, like right underneath where that last leaf starts. I'm just gonna add it in. So this is what it looks like. It's not the best, but they are also a little bit stiff. So I think they'll fall and it'll look really nice. And then I kind of like just a little bit like pop of color. They look a bit more blue on camera, but they're actually pretty purple and I really like it. I think it looks really well with the green. And yeah, I think it's pretty. I would go ahead and show you guys what they look like on my dining room table, but it's a hot mess. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the middle of cooking dinner, but before it's done, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Amazon. I am always ordering things from Amazon because I have Amazon Prime, so I get it in two days, which is amazing. Um, so the first thing that I got were these Chic Silk Touch-Up little razor things. I saw somebody use these on YouTube, but I don't remember who because it was so long ago and they've been in my cart like waiting for me to buy them, but I keep hitting like save for later. But I finally got them. I'm gonna try to touch up my eyebrows um, a little bit later. But yeah, I saw that like the person I watched, oh no, I think it was the Glam Twins. I'm pretty sure. Um, they said that they use it on their whole entire face, but I bought like a Nair cream to get rid of like, you know, just those little hairs that you have down here. So I don't know if I wanna use this on my whole entire face. I think I'm just gonna try it out on my eyebrows first. Um, the next thing I got, for these like two pack of washcloths and they're like microfiber so they're really really soft and I thought they'd be good for my face. I wanted to have like dedicated face towels so that like I didn't use a washcloth that I used on like my kids or something like that and then use my face, use it on my face. Even though obviously they get washed, I just still thought that was kind of gross when I thought about it. So I just picked up these two washcloths. I think they were like six bucks or something like that. 
the next thing that I got was another um, one of the bentonite clay healing mask things. I ran all out of this when I did um, the mask for my hair because that was the first time I used it on my hair and I ended up using the rest of it. This actually lasted me a really, really long time, but I never read the directions. I just like uh, used it based off of videos that I watched on YouTube and stuff. And it wasn't until I saw somebody's video and they were like, oh, you can't use metal. And I don't think I used metal to mix it, but I'm pretty sure maybe one time I scooped it out with like a metal spoon. And it says on here, you're not supposed to mix it with metal. Like you need to mix it with plastic, keep it in a plastic bowl or a glass bowl or something like that. Cause I guess it affects the benefits of the clay. So now I'm more mindful of that this go around. So I'm definitely gonna keep it like plastic, glass, whatever. And then the last thing that I got, I'm most excited for is this facial steamer. And it's a three in one. So it's a facial steamer. It comes with a pack of these like facial tools, which I'm actually really scared to use. So I don't think I'm gonna use them and it is a towel warmer so you heat your towels in here and then while your face is steaming it's warming the towels that you can use afterwards and yeah because i'm trying to really take care of my skin i've been using products lately that have kind of irritated it and that's really irritating <laughs> because my skin is really sensitive and i don't know like i want to try new things but i feel like i just need to kind of settle down and what works for me i just need to stick with it so I'm hoping that a steamer will kind of help um, clear my skin because I don't have problems with a lot of acne, only when I get like stressed out. But I feel like I have a lot of things that are underlying in my skin, if that makes any sense. Like you ever like go over your skin, you just feel like a bump, but it's beneath the layer, the top layer of your skin. I hope that makes sense. So I'm hoping that the steam will kind of draw out all that stuff and yeah. I read a lot and I looked at a lot of steamers on um, Amazon <coughs> and I went with this one because it wasn't super cheap but it wasn't crazy expensive. They go up to like $200 because they go up to like a uh, dermatologist grade but this one was like I think 35 or 36 bucks. And I like that it had a towel uh, warmer in it. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh, I just saw that you can use it as a humidifier. That's kind of cool. I'm really scared to use these facial extraction things. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, that's all I got from Amazon. And I'm going to probably do a video on how I like this steamer. I'm gonna use it um, probably throughout this week. I think maybe like three to four times in this coming week. And then I'll let you guys know in a video that will be posted next weekend what I think about this. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start or finish cooking dinner. So let's go cook. So I cleared off my dining room table so you can see the flowers, but now the sun is kind of setting so it's hard to see them, but now they're on the table and they're pretty and I like them so much. My house is a total mess because I haven't done anything this weekend. I've been very bad, pretty lazy, and yeah, so I really need to, uh, clean my house just a little bit tonight like just pick up the living room and stuff because it's kind of getting out of hand and it's not good it's not good I don't like it um so I put chicken in the oven about 35 minutes ago I had it marinating overnight in a Korean barbecue sauce and then I'm gonna make that vegetable fried rice that I got from Trader Joe's and that's gonna be it I'm gonna do a really simple dinner the chicken is um probably done so I'm just gonna turn off the oven and then leave that in there so it's warm and then I'm gonna start the rice because that only takes like five minutes so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so we just finished dinner and we actually sat at the table today, which is something that we don't do. Um, and Jada picked our topic of conversation. And for literally, I think like the 20, 25 minutes that we were eating dinner, we talked about fish. She's obsessed with fish, fishing, any type of like sea creatures. She is just like so obsessed with that whole thing. And I think it's really, really cool. Um, she's been watching this series on Netflix called Chasing Monsters. And it's just about this guy who um, like in each episode he's fishing for something different and like this one episode he's trying to catch a sailfish on a hand line she's just like she's 
she's like obsessed with it and she's asking us like how many different types of fish do you know how how many different species can you name and then um like johnny's saying like oh i know stingrays a fish and she's like yeah did you know that stingrays are the largest freshwater fish or something like that and he was like no i didn't like it's just so cool that she's like telling us about things because i don't know much about like i mean marine whatever like it's definitely not my forte but she's totally into it and i mean we do live in florida we should go fishing but i don't have a boat we don't have fishing rods um i've been fishing before and it, it's fun like and it's kind of relaxing but um i feel like i really need to take this girl fishing because that is like where her heart is now like she's i i love it i absolutely love it bo come on she's taking the dog out now before we get settled jada's putting her bjs on i just started a load of laundry and make sure my uniform is clean for tomorrow because tomorrow's monday i almost said that in a negative tone but i am changing my thought process and it's monday like it's a fresh start you know anything can happen yeah <laughs> so yeah i'm just doing some laundry and then i'm gonna settle down she wants to watch show so it's probably gonna be like an animal show which i actually really like i like um watching like documentaries and animal documentaries and stuff like that i really love planet earth i absolutely love that whole series and i um it was two years ago for my birthday maybe a year ago i think it was two years ago johnny got me the planet earth 2 on dvd and i love it i love it but now it's on netflix so that was kind of funny like right after i got it it came out on netflix but come on bo He brings toys outside all the time and then it's like he not even digs them up but he like hides them in weird spots like he just pulled this bone out of the bushes over there it's weird it's a weird dog we really need to mow our lawn it's like getting really not really high but we have those like tall weeds up now and it's just disgusting and we need to cut it but it's been raining like crazy like yesterday oh man i'm probably gonna have a mosquito bite there's just a mosquito on me but yeah, yesterday it rained like three times and while I was trying to film the video that I posted yesterday, it like the power went out like three or four times on me and I was like, okay, enough. There's probably a cat under that car and my dog is like sniffing it out and it's probably going to hiss. So he's probably going to get his butt kicked real soon. But yeah, we didn't do anything yesterday. That's why... Actually, I can't say we didn't do anything. We just, I was just busy yesterday. Bo, come here. Where are you going? He's just like trotting down the sidewalk. But yeah, yesterday um, we didn't do too much. Um, I'm trying to think what we did. Oh, Jade and I went out to breakfast and I actually like was starting the vlog yesterday. So I'll show you like that little clip. But, um, so yeah, yesterday we went out to breakfast and then after that, I think we went to Target to just get like some household stuff. Like I got detergent and like cleaning supplies and some more of those like air freshener things. Cause I got one of those like Febreze air fresheners, the ones that you plug in for the bathroom like a month or so ago. And I love it. So I got, um, two more, one to go in the living room and then one to go in our bedroom. Um, so yeah, we went to Target and then what did we do after that? I don't even remember. I don't know. Because I didn't go grocery shopping yesterday. What did I do? I don't know. But uh, we just kind of hung out at the house and like had a girls day. And then today um, we went and got some breakfast in the morning. I was going to take her to go get her hair done. But the lady was busy and there was no cancellation. So that kind of sucked. Um, and then we just went to Trader Joe's. So yeah. I didn't vlog yesterday because I don't really remember even what we did. Like what oh i just recorded and then the weather got really crappy that's right i just said that so yeah um but it's getting kind of dark out now so i don't know how well it's probably going to be like crappy grainy quality for the next couple of minutes i just want this dog to go to the freaking 
bathroom so I can go inside and not get bit up by mosquitoes while I'm sitting out here. So, yeah. I don't want to get bit up. It's Florida. These mosquitoes are real. So, yeah, I saw this meme and it said that there's like four seasons in Florida. Summer, tourist, love bug, and something else. I can't remember what the fourth one was. But it was funny because that is pretty much true. It's like we have summer, tourist season, love bug slash mosquito season, and rain. That was the other one, rain. But like mosquito, summer, and rain are kind of all like the same season. So yeah. But yeah, I missed vlogging. And I know it's not like too exciting, the footage that I have so far, because I've only been vlogging for the past like two or three hours, but at least it's something I want, really want to try and put out more content for you guys, because I am trying to grow my channel. I want to reach a lot more people and produce content that people are interested in. So yeah, that's how I'm going to do it, by putting out content, because ain't nobody come over to my channel. Uh, ain't nobody coming over to my channel if there ain't nothing to watch. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go inside because my neighbors just got home and I don't want them to see me recording because this is awkward.